Have you ever wondered about the mystical world of Wicca and pagan superstitions? Welcome to the enigmatic world of Wicca, a realm where spirituality intertwines with nature and the lines blur between myth and reality. This ancient belief system, steeped in mysticism, has its roots deeply embedded in the history of humanity, spanning back to a time when our ancestors lived in harmony with the earth. At its core, Wicca is a modern pagan, witchcraft religion. It was developed in England during the first half of the 20th century and was introduced to the public in 1954 by Gerald Gardner, a retired British civil servant. It draws upon a diverse set of ancient pagan and 20th century hermetic motifs for its theological structure and ritual practices. The belief system of Wicca is as diverse as the people who practice it. Generally, Wiccans believe in the worship of a goddess and god, respect for nature, and the use of magic in daily life. Some Wiccans also adhere to the Wiccan Reedit, an ethical code that states, and it harm none, do what ye will, emphasizing the freedom to act, with the caveat that no harm is done to others. Often, Wicca is misinterpreted and overshadowed by misconceptions. It's not about hexes or curses, and it's certainly not about doing evil. It's about connecting with the natural world and respecting the inherent sacredness of life. It's about understanding the cycles of nature and our place within it. Yet despite these misconceptions, Wicca continues to be a source of intrigue and fascination for many. Its rich tapestry of folklore, magic, and connection with the natural world offers a different lens through which to view the world, one that harks back to our ancestors and the very roots of human belief. Now, let's delve into the origins of this fascinating belief system. The roots of Wicca trace back to the pre-Christian traditions of the British Isles. This spiritual practice, as we know it today, however, is a relatively recent development, its modern form taking shape in the mid-20th century. The most influential figure in this modern resurgence of Wicca was undoubtedly Gerald Gardner. Born in the late 19th century, Gardner spent much of his life traveling the world and studying various cultures and their religious practices. In the 1930s, he found himself drawn to the remnants of the old pagan traditions in his homeland, the British Isles. Intrigued by these ancient practices, he began to study and connect with them, becoming a significant participant in their modern revival. Gardner's work was pivotal in shaping Wicca as we understand it today. He combined elements of the old pagan traditions, such as reverence for nature and the celebration of seasonal festivals, with more contemporary spiritual ideas. He saw Wicca not as a relic of the past, but as a living, evolving tradition. His writings and teachings, including the influential Book of Shadows, have formed the foundation of much of modern Wicca. Yet Wicca's roots go much deeper than the 20th century. Its connection to ancient pagan traditions is undeniable. These older practices which predate Christianity focused on the veneration of nature and the cycles of the seasons. They celebrated the divine in all things and saw the world as imbued with a mystical energy. This reverence for the natural world and the recognition of the divine in all aspects of life are central tenets of Wicca, linking it to these ancient traditions. The modern practice of Wicca, therefore, represents a fusion of the old and the new. It draws from the wellspring of ancient pagan traditions, yet also embraces more recent spiritual ideas and practices. It's a dynamic, evolving tradition, one that honors its roots while also embracing the possibilities of the present. From this rich history, Wicca has developed into a diverse and vibrant modern practice. Wicca, in the present day, is a flourishing and diverse spiritual path. It has evolved and adapted over the years, resonating with those who seek a spiritual connection to the natural world and the mysteries of the universe. Wicca is not simply about spells and magic. It's about a deep appreciation and reverence for nature, the cycles of the moon, the changing seasons, and the interconnectedness of all life. Many modern Wiccans find solace in the tranquility of outdoor rituals, feeling the earth beneath their feet, the wind whispering through the trees, the warmth of the sun, or the cool touch of the moonlight on their skin. Magic in Wicca is a tool for personal growth and transformation. It's not about summoning otherworldly forces to do one's bidding. It's about tapping into one's own inner power, harnessing the energy of the natural world, and directing it towards a desired outcome. This could be as simple as a healing spell for a loved one, 
or a prosperity charm to attract abundance. The divine feminine holds a significant place in Wicca. The goddess, often represented by the moon, is revered as the embodiment of nurturing, creativity, and wisdom. She is the counterbalance to the horned god, symbolizing the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. The celebration of the divine feminine is a testament to Wicca's emphasis on balance and harmony, acknowledging both the nurturing and destructive aspects of nature. As for the traditions within Wicca, there are many, reflecting its diverse and inclusive nature. Gardnerian Wicca, founded by Gerald Gardner in the mid-20th century, is one of the oldest and most recognized. It emphasizes initiation and working in covens or groups. Alexandrian Wicca, founded by Alex Sanders, shares many practices with Gardnerian Wicca, but also incorporates elements of ceremonial magic and Kabbalah. These traditions, while distinct, share a common respect for nature, the practice of magic, and the veneration of the Divine Feminine. They offer a framework, a set of guidelines, but ultimately, each Wiccan's path is highly personal and unique. Wicca's modern practices highlight its adaptability and relevance in today's world. It's a spiritual path that continues to inspire, evolve, and resonate with many, offering a sense of connection, empowerment, and reverence for the natural world. Wicca and paganism are rich with superstitions and tales of mythical creatures. Let's delve into some of the most popular pagan superstitions and their origins. Firstly, we have the superstitions surrounding the magical properties of herbs. In the pagan world, herbs are more than just plants. They are seen as a vital link to the Earth's energy. Thyme, for instance, is often associated with courage, while sage is believed to have cleansing and healing properties. This superstition stems from the belief that the Earth's energy can be harnessed through its natural elements. Moving on, we have the superstition of the evil eye. Predominantly found in Mediterranean cultures, it holds that a malicious gaze can bring about misfortune. To protect against this, pagans often use talismans or amulets, like the Eye of Horus or Hamsa Hand. Now let's meet some of the mythical creatures that are often associated with Wicca and paganism. The Green Man, a symbol of nature and rebirth, is one of the most revered. Often depicted as a face formed from leaves and vines, the Green Man is believed to represent the cycle of growth each spring. He's a reminder of the intimate connection between humanity and nature. Another mythical figure is the Triple Goddess, representing the phases of the moon and the stages of a woman's life. She is often depicted as the maiden, symbolizing youth and new beginnings, the mother, embodying fertility and stability, and the crone, representing wisdom and endings. The Triple Goddess is a fundamental figure in Wicca, embodying the sacred feminine and the cycle of life. Lastly, we have the Horned God, often associated with the wilderness and animalistic energy. He represents the life force seen in animals and the wild and is often paired with the triple goddess in rituals and imagery. These superstitions and mythical creatures add a layer of depth and intrigue to Wicca and pagan practices. They provide a fascinating insight into the beliefs and traditions that make these spiritualities so captivating and enduring. So we've journeyed through the enigmatic world of Wicca, from its ancient roots to its modern practice. We've traced back the origins of Wicca, revealing a rich history that dates back centuries. From humble beginnings in the British Isles, Wicca has spread across the globe, its practices and beliefs evolving over time to fit the changing world. In our modern age, Wicca continues to thrive. It champions a deep respect for nature, a belief in the power of intention and magic, and a reverence for the divine in all its forms. Wicca's contemporary practices, while diverse, are rooted in its ancient traditions, offering a unique blend of old and new. And who could forget the intriguing world of pagan superstitions and mythical creatures? From the mischievous pixies to the wise old crones, these figures add a layer of mystique and wonder to Wicca's rich tapestry. Wicca is a vibrant and diverse path that continues to enchant and intrigue, offering a rich tapestry of beliefs and practices that appeal to many.